Hi there, hello there, my name is Craft, and today I will be presenting to you how you can summon mobs in Minecraft with just your voice. But you can do things like this. Buzzing bees. Spawning bees. <laughs> there we go, we have bees. Or this. Dragon. Spawning dragons. Oh gosh. And you can do all of these things without having any coding experience. This is based on the numerous voice command videos from Doug Doug and Point Crow as well since he did a video with Minecraft specifically. And I knew as soon as I saw it that I wanted to do this myself. Unfortunately, I looked into how they did this and their method just seemed too complex for me as it uses Python, which is a coding program. And I don't know how to use Python or to code anything. It also has a bunch of extraneous things that most people just don't really need to do to get this to work, and that's just not good. Instead, I found an alternative way to make it more easier and achievable to the average Java player. Hopefully I can explain what I found to work in a way that makes sense, so let's just get into it. Wait, 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 actually before we get into it, I must let it be known that as of this video being published, this method is for Minecraft 1.20.1. So for all the stuff I'll be linking in the description for this, just check to see if it's all for that version of Minecraft. All you really need to be sure of is that all the mods are compatible with the same version of the game. Now, let's get into it. First, make a folder for everything you'll be downloading today since you'll want to keep track of everything. Then you'll need the Fabric Mod Loader and Fabric API, since the mod for this method requires both Fabric and Fabric API to run. You'll also need to get the Mod Menu mod. Honestly, these three are essentials if you want to get any mod. So download Fabric and Fabric API, as well as Mod Menu, then store it all in the folder we just made. Next, you will need the Command Macros mod by Cryptonaut. This is the mod that'll act as the means of this project, as it'll enable a simple way for you to execute Minecraft commands with the push of a button. So download the mod from CurseForge and store it in the mods folder. Finally, you will need the program Voice Attack. With this program, you can activate your keybind commands with voice inputs. Whenever you say an assigned keyword, the program essentially presses the key on your keyboard assigned to the command. You can either download a free version with the 20 command limit or purchase a full version for $10 through voice attack site or through Steam. Now that we have all the pieces, let's put them all together. First, open Minecraft Launcher, then when on the screen for Minecraft Java, go to the installations menu, and there check the box for modded content. Then look for fabric on the list of versions. From there, tap the folder icon, open up the mods folder, and drag in all the mods we downloaded from earlier to this new folder, excluding the voice attack program. That's, that's not a Minecraft mod. If you need help with this, I'll leave a video in the description of how to load in fabric mods. From there, you can go ahead and launch Minecraft. Once in the game, open the mod menu. Select Command Macros to go into Mod Configuration. Here, we'll find the menu where we can assign commands to keys, as well as a number of key pushes and other attributes. It could be whatever Minecraft command you want. As an example for this video, let's put in a command to spawn bees or something. We'll put the repeat at 10, so we'll spawn 10 bees for one key press, and we'll assign it to the U key for this example, just to keep it simple. Here's the command on screen if you're curious, if you want to do this one yourself. After you put in a command and assign a key on your keyboard to your command, Go ahead and minimize Minecraft and open up voice attack. Here we'll now add in a voice command. Open up this icon to edit profile and here we can actually input stuff by pressing new command. Here put in the keyword you want your program to monitor. For this video it'll be E, B, E. If you put in a word in asterisks it can monitor for that word within other words and sentences to where it can be more challenging. And in the command log, you will put in a key press command you want the program to run, as well as some funny dialogue from the text to speech to go before it if you want to have the real Doug Doug experience. Be sure to press OK when done, then apply, then done. And yeah, with that, you're basically finished. Minimize voice attack, hop on to the test world with commands active, and test out your program. And keep in mind that the command can be whatever you want. Whether it to be spawn bees or kill yourself in the game, you can have fun with it, honestly. And that's about everything I have to say. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Or perhaps you can find someone else down there who can help. Who knows? Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. 
since I plan on playing with this mod more in the channel, and I'd love for you all to join me on that. Uh, I upload every Saturday. The sub of the day is bees, and I'm out of here. Bees.